college with Professor Brennan and Ms. McMahon. And the top topic I did, uh, the topic I did was all about news. The average news we retina contains the bar cells, which are only active at night, and the cone cells are only active at during daylight or afternoon or morning. Usually, there are three kinds of cones, each having different pigments, which are colors. There are the S cone, the M cone, and the, and the L cone, but they are often referred to as blue, green, and red cones, respectively. Many genes involved in color vision that are on those X chromosome. This means that it is more common in males than females. And the reason, is that, the reason for that is because males have only one S chromosome, so it's more common in them because it's less rare to get to get than females, which have two chromosomes. All right, this right here shows um, what colors you can see if you're normal. Also if you're red or green, you need to go use these colors. And same for this. For this, these three is when you have totally, you have total color magnets, which you can't see none except for shades of gray or only gray. Alright, so cause of color blindness. Color blindness occurs when the problem with the pigments in certain nerve cells of the eye. Most color blindness is due to genetic disorders on the X chromosome. The drug hydroxychloroquine hydro or also known as a plaquenol, is also a possible, possible cause of color blindness. This is used to treat arthritis. There are three types of color blindness, the red and green, blue and yellow, and total, total color blindness, which is also called arthromatosphere. Inherited color vision affects two eyes, both eyes, but acquired color vision affects one eye more than the other of one or even 41. The symptoms of the symptoms of color blindness when you can't get trouble seeing colors and the brightness of colors. You're unable to differentiate the shades of, of gray or any other colors. A parent can tell his, his or a child has color blindness the way the time when the child is trying to learn their colors. Ask your dog, ask your doctor or eye specialist to check for your color vision. Color blindness usually found out by taking out a higher exam. There are no known no treat there are no known treatments for color blindness. Alright. So this right here is a penis a penis square for color blindness. If you're a male, you used to have like, um, only one X chromosome <coughs> for each to be colorblind. And for normal vision, you'll need to um, you used to have both an X and a Y. For female, you used to have both color um both you have to have both X chromosome dynasty um affected by colorblind for where you get colorblind. Mm -hmm. For a female you need both uh, X chromosomes so you can have normal X father comes to the home. Yeah. This right here is shows the results of a couple who their baby have played babies now. For the I mean alright, so let's say a color a color blind man came right here, the X one. When he has when he has such a little work on the female, his male turns out to be, his, his son turns out to be colorblind, and the female cannot get, he can, he just, when he has rubber, he can have a female that's colorblind. And a uh, female can only have a trace for so a male for his being colorblind. So just to find out if you're colorblind or not, if you look at this, if you look at the number the A, if you're normal color vision, you can see a 29. If you're in B, you can see a 45. In C, you can see nothing. In D, e, you can see a 26. If you're a red or green color blind, in A, you can see a 70. In B, you see nothing. In C, you see 5. In D, you see nothing. 
if you're red colorblind, I mean, yeah, red colorblind, colorblind, and A, C, 70, or B, C, nothing, or C, C, 5, and B, C, 6. If you're green colorblind, or A, C, 70, and B, C, nothing, and C, C, 5, and, and B, C, 6. Alright, so those who are color blindness may not be able to hire for jobs that require color vision, such as pilots, such as car drivers. Color blindness is a long life condition, but some patients are able to are capable of adjusting to the disease. Which I feel like it's gonna be quite frustrating for drivers with this disorder. Because let's say um you're driving, you have red or green color blindness. You can't see red, so you wouldn't know what if it's red or green. So we have to check if the red, um, hopefully the light is like, good, you could, the light across your eyes so you could be able to see it. If, it's, if the light is yellow, you know that it's becoming, it's gonna get red and then soon, it may soon. That's how people with this disorder are able to drive or whatever. Uh, that's my references. I'd like to acknowledge Mr. Mrs. McMahon, Professor Brennan, Brock Community College, Sonia Seaton, Dr. Sat, ECS Lab, and the audience. Yeah, questions? 